Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use the PV Watts online solar energy calculator. We're going to use this online calculator to estimate the amount of photovoltaic DC watts that you can fit on your roof or on your usable land. Then I will show you how to calculate the kilowatt hours and energy value. You're going to want to start uh, to find the instructions on 3guyssolar.com. On our website, I have listed out the main 15 steps, and I'm going to show you those steps today. First step we're going to use, we're going to go to pvwatts.nrel.gov. There is a link directly to our website, or you can go to Google and type in the pvwatts.nrel.gov. The PV Watts Solar Calculator is provided free of charge by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. This interactive online calculator is used by manufacturers, designers, engineers, installers, and O&M professionals worldwide. They use this calculator to evaluate the potential property by comparing the many parameters to determine the most efficient way to get the maximum return on investment. Okay, let's get started. Click the white box and enter your address, then press go. This will take you to the solar resource data page. PV Watts pulls the historical data from the weather center and uses it in the calculation to determine the estimated annual generation on your property. PV Watts is going to default to the closest weather data center to your property. The property that we chose is actually currently in Orlando, Florida, and you can see that PV Watts chose for us Tampa, Florida. We're going to click on the orange chevron, which will take us to the system info page. On this page, we're going to enter the parameters specific to our system. In these boxes, we'll need to fill out information or choose the default settings. The first box and the most important one we're gonna look at is gonna be the DC system size in kilowatts. Before we can really determine or we can enter that number, we have to determine what can fit on our property. PV Watts has a great system that will size the roof using Google Maps, and we're going to use and click this rectangle box below, Draw Your System. In the Draw Your System feature, the house that you chose will come up on the screen on the Google's Maps. The property that I chose was a system that we had installed recently a couple months ago. And you can see that on this south roof, there's already quite a few solar panels located. On Google Maps, the north side of the property is always the top of the screen. The south side of the property is the bottom side of the screen. To the right will be the east. To the left will be the west. So you can see that the south roof here is our first selection and this is where we installed all our photovoltaic panels. This roof would be our east roof. This would be our, our second possible location. This roof is our west roof, would be our third possible location which faces the street. And this roof of the top of the page is actually north facing. Typically you never want to put them on the north but south is always the best part of the real estate. To draw your system or to estimate the system size that you can put on a specific roof or in a single area, you click and you draw the corners of your roof or the area you want to size. In this area, the system capacity that it shows is 11.2 kilowatts of DC. 
you can click and drag these boxes and move them around and you'll see that the number will increase or decrease based on the square foot area that you have selected. This particular property has a 10.2 kW system and it's really good to be able to see that the PV Watts program is very accurate in the sizing. You want to do this for each roof that you're trying to determine or you're looking at the potential on. If you make a mistake, you can move the boxes back and forth in and out, or you can click reset, and then you can test your, your next roof. You can use this to determine how much you can fit on each roof, and you can also determine which has the, the best capacity. When you use your data for PV watts, you're going to want to calculate each roof that's facing a different azimuth angle or direction. You're going to want to do each roof independently. You don't want to do an east roof and a west roof at the same time. So we're going to start with this south facing roof, which can fit 10 kilowatts of PV panels, and then we'll click save. As you can see, the DC system size was pre-filled and it took the information from when we drew the system on our roof. We're going to go through some, what some of these definitions mean, but you can see there's a nice information button next to each one of those with a detailed information and definition so you have a better understanding of what, what they're asking for. The DC system size, that's our total system capacity in DC watts. Our next button here is the module type. Standard module is what's default selected. That is going to be for typical poly or monocrystalline 15% efficiency. You can choose a premium, which is a higher efficiency of like a 20% rated module, or thin film, which would be a 10% efficient module. Just keep in mind, if you choose a, a thin film, your DC system capacity is going to be less because they're less efficient. The array type is going to be the mounting options. So a, a fixed open rack would be for a ground mount system. A fixed roof mount is what we would be selecting on this property because it's a roof mount. A one-axis tracker. Uh, and the backtracking and the two axis tracker, those are typically only used for utility scale properties. So for this one, we're going to choose the roof mount. The system losses percentages, there is always a loss between the DC capacity and the AC output. The default is set here at 14%. Uh, that is going to be want, want to be the minimum that you're going to use. In some cases, you may choose to increase that for houses or properties that have shade between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., or if there are other selections for voltage drop. Uh, there's also a loss calculator you can use here to uh, determine that. Our tilt degrees, the tilt degrees is going to be the tilt the panels are mounted or the roof is. This particular property, the roof is. I know it because I, I measured it, is 25 degrees. If you don't know, uh, typically 20 to 25 degrees should give you a good starting point. The azimuth angle. The azimuth angle is the angle clockwise from true north describing the direction that the array faces. The azimuth angle of 180 degrees, which is what is the default selection is for a south facing array. This is a true south facing array and an azimuth angle that is zero degrees would actually be north facing. An east facing array would have an azimuth angle of 90 and a west facing rooftop would have an angle of 270 degrees. The property that we chose, the panels are 180 degrees because they are facing true south. The advanced parameters, you can leave those set at the default settings. Those are not going to affect our calculations. Uh, down here, the initial economics, so you want to look at your power bill. 
and verify what your cost per kilowatt hour is. And the initial install, this will be your total cost of installation, materials, permitting, design, and those kinds of things. The default that's selected is $3.30 a watt installed. And for a 10KW, that would be $33,000. And for the utility data, you can enter in. I know where we're located at. We pay 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Now that we have entered all of our system information and everything is correct to the installation we're planning, we can click the orange chevron to go to the PV Watts results page. So looking at the results page, we can see that our 10KW system facing south at a 25 degree tilt angle will give us an estimated kilowatt hour per year of 14,729. PV watts on the results page will also give us the annual kilowatt hour per month with the total of 14,728. So you can see month by month what the estimated kilowatt hour production would be. And you can see that January and December are the two worst months. But you can see that the kilowatt hour production goes up in February, up in March, up in April, good in May. Actually goes down a little bit in June and July. That is due to afternoon showers, humidity heat temperature and those kinds of things, but you can see that it actually goes back up again in August. So that AC kilowatt hour production turns into times our 13 cents per kilowatt hour, gives us the value monthly for the total energy production of the first year at $1,916. So this way you have a very good way to see what the estimated production and what the energy value of your system is. Now that you've seen this, the full part of the program, you can go back and you can now play around with the different system settings. You could change your system size and see what it would do for your production if you had a 5KW system. You could also play around and see what the different tilt angles will do in production or what the azimuth angle will do. So let's just as a test, let's say we decided to select the east facing roof. We'll keep the system size at 10 kW, but let's change the azimuth angle from 180 to 90. The 90 degree azimuth angle is going to be for east facing, and now we can compare the system lost or the cost value for the east facing roof. So we'll change it to our azimuth angle of 90 degrees. We can now go back to the PV watt. After we run the calculation for an east facing system, we can see that the system will produce estimated 13,017 kilowatt hours per year and an energy value of $1,691 per year. So you can see that there is definitely a difference between east facing and south. South is better uh, in this case, and in, in most cases you'll find that. And in this case, 13,000 is a loss of 11.6% is the difference. But it's still a very good facing roof. Um, and if you don't have a south facing, or if south facing is on the front of your house, you can choose an east facing roof and you can you can compare using this program what the difference is going to be well that is all for today's training if you still have questions go to our website at threeguyssolar.com for a complete list of the instructions you can also leave your questions in the comments section below also if you saw value in this training subscribe to our channel for updates and new videos Thank you for taking the time to learn more about solar energy calculations using the PV Watts online calculator. Now let's go solar.